Hi, and welcome to guys that clearly don't make music videos. In today's segment, we're doing a... <laughs> Hi, and welcome to guys that clearly don't make music videos. In today's segment, we're doing a follow-up on last week's segment on music videos. Um, a lot of people like to duplicate music videos of their favorite uh, artist. Uh, today, we're going to do one on rap stars. They're moguls in their industry. What that means is they're popular and people like to look like them when they sing their songs. So if you're going to make a home video about your favorite rap artist and his music, you're going to either need to know the lyrics or learn how to get around them. See, I don't know any lyrics to really any rap song. I know the chorus to most rap songs. It's called a loop. It's catchy. But, so what you want to do is make sure that you don't have to do two things. Learn lyrics if you're going to do a music video and do editing because editing is not awesome. It's odd then. So you want to do everything in one take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to play a rap song and I'm going to lip over it. And I'm going to use what's called improvisation. I'm going to use the word watermelon. I'm going to lip sync watermelon over every word that I don't know in the song. Now, you probably will think I know the whole song because it's going to look really, really convincing. But look really close at my lips and you might be able to catch the times that I actually have to use the word watermelon over the lyrics of the song. So, to really feel the part, you're going to want to look like your favorite rap artist. So, you're going to probably put on like a, a fine quality hat, some designer sunglasses. I'm noticing that a lot of rap artists nowadays are using hooded sweatshirts when they rap. And I don't know if it's uh, the temperature in the studios that they're recording in or what, but lots of times it just seems like they're cold because they really do their selves up. And then one key thing you're going to want to do to really capture your audience and make them think that you're just a natural rap artist doing your thing in the studio. It's called product placement. So I'm going to be singing to a song and it's going to look like I just really love Mountain Dew sitting right next to me while I'm rapping into a camera. But there's a good chance that I was paid to put this here uh, so that one, you're going to love the music video and two, you're going to want to buy a Mountain Dew when you're done with this. So I'm going to start the song now and again look for the words, oh that's the wrong song. Let me try this one. Oh, I got it. Okay, this is the rap song. Watch for watermelon. So that's 